All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to, now that I'm back on the Super 7 bandwagon, uh, so the story is, uh, a while back I wasn't really liking the way they uh, looked on the shelf, and I ended up selling my whole collection over to my brother. But then, <laughs> then I decided, what the hell, I'll, I'll do it anyway. So I rebought everything. <laughs> Uh, and now, so now I've got a few pieces that I didn't have before. So we're going to look at those guys real quick and then um, get back to like Transformers and how are they holding up. So um, to start off, we're going to take a look at Bebop, which I'm really happy to finally get. Um, he was one of those ones that was on pre order. Uh, I think it was a reissue on pre order or something like that. I can't remember. Um, and it's just. I never had him before so um so yeah here he is out of the packaging um nice big hefty figure uh which is crazy that they're the same price uh now they're starting to to make the uh, really big ones 65 dollars instead of 55 but i think he was actually 45 i think I'm not sure. I pretty much have the whole collection again. Um, I'm just missing April and Casey Jones. I wasn't overly impressed with either of those figures, so I'm kind of... I'm on the fence on whether or not to buy them. I'm ho Hopefully one of them will go on clearance and that will push me over the edge. Um, but yeah, so he does come with uh, his little pistol and a knife. So the knife... Nicely painted, straight, uh, harder plastic than what I'm used to with this with this company. Like it's still pliable, but it's it's not like gummy. Uh, so that's nice, um, and it's hold it held its shape pretty well. It's a little warped, but not not terrible. And for the character, it's it, <laughs> a little warped is actually kind of fitting. Uh, he also comes with the, the pistol, like I said. Uh, you know, you get some black paint there, silver paint there. It looks good. I think it's a tad, a tad warped as well, but not, again, not terrible. Not like what we've seen in the past. He comes with this uh, kind of shield trash can lid, which, I mean, I don't know how they're expecting us to really get this into their hands. Um, this is just, I mean, it's way too tight of a fit um, to really get that in there. And I don't I don't see that really fitting around the knuckles uh, all that easily. Um, not saying it's not possible, but I'm not gonna sit here and, and like really try either, so. He comes with two fist hands. Which is nice. And that's in addition to the holding hands he has. He also comes with the f plastic frame, um, much like the original Turtles did. Uh, we've seen this before a bunch of times. Um, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, this thing's all warped, but um, you get the knife, the gun, and the shield. So you basically get two copies of everything. Uh, these are just base plastic nothing fancy on there so it's like you could paint them if you wanted to and then he also comes with an alternate head which is actually the same exact head um but it's got a pink face uh the original toy had the more pink face um and then i i don't know i can't remember if a uh, later release had the not less pink face but i know that in the cartoon he did um so that's that's the difference there. I, I went with the brown face just because I think it just looks better. Um, but that's going to be personal preference on that. Posability, his head is on a ball joint. Uh, so you get all the way up to there. Um, and then down to there. Left, right, uh, side to side. I mean, it goes where you need it to go. Um no problems there whatsoever. Uh, his jacket and the turtle shells here are all soft plastic, so they'll get out of his way when you move his arm out. Up to there, down to there, up to there, back to there. Um, there is no bicep swivel, which is 
strange. Uh, he does have um, an elbow swivel just above the elbow, so I guess it kind of works, but, um, you know, eh. I mean, it's good enough, I guess. Uh, bends at the elbow, wrist swivels, hinges in and out. Uh, waist is on a swivel here uh, with the softer plastic for the um, for the hip, uh, and he's got a swivel for his little tail here. Thigh swivels up to there. Uh, doesn't go really anywhere back. Out to the side, thigh swivel, bends at the knee. Uh, this knee is it's pretty cool because he's got like a knee brace that works with the knee too. So it's like, it's not just painted on, it actually hinges in there too. So that's that's pretty cool, I like that. There's a swivel at the, uh, at the bottom of the pants and then the foot has the tilt and rocker. So all in all, uh, pretty, pretty great figure, to be honest. And here he is next to Rocksteady. Uh, he's got a little bit looser hips there. And here he is with the turtle. Um, so yeah, all in all, uh, I really like this figure. I think I think this one is a solid, solid release. Um, they really knocked this one out of the park. Um, I I really really like this figure. In between the sculpt, the paint, um, the posability, all the joints move uh, for them. Like I was having a little hard time getting this one out to the side, but it's better better than it being super loose um like his hips are loose he's he, he doesn't he's not well i mean they move a little bit but they're not as loosey-goosey um but it's cool to have rocksteady and bebop next to each other um i i <laughs> you know they're great little henchmen you know iconic if you're a turtle fan um yeah um i i've got only positive things to say about this figure um really i i think uh i think the shield thing should have had maybe like a removable handle or something like that that you can kind of fit in a little easier or maybe like not have it connected here and have it come out a little bit more so you could just slide it into his hand uh because as it is i it's gonna be a tight fit if it works at all um, I also wish you came with a rifle, but I'm sure this is just kind of what came with the original toy. Um, but I just like, I, I prefer these guys with big, big guns, not just this little puny thing. Um, other than that, uh, I think I, I don't, I don't have any other negatives to say about him. I think he's a pretty solid figure. Really like him. I really like the fact that he comes with like the original toy head and then an option to switch it out if, if you're not into that um which you know i would be most inclined to do or which i did um but it's it's just one of those cool little extra things that's like they didn't need to do that um yeah i, I think it's a great figure um highly recommended if you're in the line he he kind of you know it's funny because rockstay was one that i bought originally to try just test out the line for myself and and he actually puts him to shame. It's 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 kind of funny. Uh, and not saying the Rocksteady is not a good figure. Still, it's just it's just the Bebop is just that much better. Um, I I really enjoy this these guys. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess that's all I get. I, I think I'll give him a. I mean, for what he is, I, I think I'd give him a 9 out of 10. Um, just wish he had a better gun and better useful, uh, or better trash can lid um, so that we could actually utilize it a little bit easier. But that's all I got. Um, so, yeah.